While chilly temperatures take over the southeast, Clemson fans have followed their team to Tampa. The Tigers play Alabama for the national title on Monday night. News 2's sports director Evan West is in the Sunshine State with more on the day's festivities. A festivus for the rest of us, and by us, I mean the media. Saturday morning was media day for Alabama and Clemson. It was the last opportunity for players to speak publicly before Monday night's national championship. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Fiesta Bowl champion, Clemson Tigers. Kind of felt like WWE walking in here. It was like Saturday Night Raw, right? Uh, or was it Friday Night Raw? Which one is it? Authentic responses are the Sweeney standard. The Clemson head coach did not disappoint on media day, nor did he cease with the wrestling references when talking Bama. They got the swag, they got the belt. And uh, if we want that, we got to beat them. The Tide showed up and their fans showed out while professing their love for Alabama head coach Nick Saban. There ain't nobody in a better. That's, that's the guy. He's, he's the second one that can walk on water now. A scientific marvel, if true, and quite an accomplishment for a man with six national championships. But if he wants to get to lucky number seven, then he has to slow down to Sean. I've said this all week long, probably uh, the most dynamic player in college football, or maybe the best player in college football relative to what he does for his team. He can make any pass with his arm, like he can make any pass work. He can scramble, he can throw in the run. If there's anyone who can stop Watson, it's defensive lineman Jonathan Allen. He lives in the opponent's backfield, but Watson says number 93 isn't welcome in Clemson's. <laughs> I feel like my offensive line is going to do their tasks, and you know, I don't want it to happen, so uh, I'm not going to expect it. Bright lights, big crowds, and the game isn't even close to kicking off, but the teams are in Tampa, and the fans are ready. We will hear from the head coaches one more time. They hold their joint press conference on Sunday morning. In Tampa, I'm Evan West for News 2 Sports.